guys, what's up? My name is Dee and welcome back to a new Costco Canada haul. Today's video is sponsored by Cafe William. I'm going to share how to make the perfect cup and I'll share more on Cafe William throughout this video. All right, so here's a quick glance of everything I picked up this week. Let's go ahead and start with the bananas. You know, I had to grab two bunches of organic bananas. That's a staple. We tend to get that every single week. Next up, these mini cucumbers were a great price. So I picked up another pack of these for my kids to snack on throughout the week. For dinner, one of these days this week, I'm going to be making some steak. So I want to do steak, peppers, and mushrooms. I have mushrooms already on hand. And these peppers were a good price, so I picked up the pack. They're so big and so good, too. Next, I grabbed this package of steak. The price was good on this as well. And so we're going to toss this in the air fryer. So this whole pack should do for two dinners for our family of four. Next, I picked up two packs of the beef back ribs. My kids love this and one pack only has four or five pieces. So I definitely had to double up the pack so I can have enough for everyone to have seconds and thirds. They love it that much. I also picked up a box of Tropicana orange juice that always goes with our breakfast as well. I always start my day with coffee. I also picked up another package of our favorite yogurt. This is something great to just keep on hand in the fridge. They make for really great snacks and I usually have two of these for breakfast in the morning because it's just a quick way for me to get something to eat and these are really good. Next up, I grabbed some half and half. This is gonna go perfect for my coffee. And so that's the way I like to enjoy my coffee, coffee, half and half, and I'm good to go. So remember that coffee I tried at the sample table a couple months back? I went ahead and I picked it up. Cafe William is Canada's first coffee clean shipped by Sail Cargo at Costco. So make sure you check it out on your next shop. I have been daydreaming about this coffee for so long that I had to go ahead and pick up two packs because I don't want to run out anytime soon. Each bag is $19.99 and definitely money well spent. I'm glad I got two. And what I love about this packaging is not only the design, but how you can learn more about their missions on the back of the package as well. Thanks again, Cafe William, for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I'll be back in a little bit once I'm finished with this haul to share with you how I make the perfect cup at home. This coffee is so delicious. I highly recommend you trying it out or picking it up on your next shop. Next up, I picked up some Kirkland Signature Pink Himalayan Salt. I need this for salting my pasta water and pink salt is actually much better for you. So I'm making the switch there. I also picked up my husband's favorite roasted nut mix and this is really good. Plus it was on a good promo this week. So that was something great to add to the basket. Next up, I also picked up some popcorners. You know, this is something that the entire family loves. So grabbed one bag. Next up, the kids came with me on my shop today and they wanted more of these granolas. They love them and I actually think that they're really good too. So we picked up more to have for snacks throughout the week as well. The next item I picked up is this huge pack of goldfish. It's more affordable than buying the individual pack. So this is something that we're going to have in our pantry for quite a few weeks. Hopefully it'll last us over a month. Next up, I grabbed a pack of the organic seaweed. This is really great to have, and we haven't had it for a couple weeks now. Next up, I picked up this huge box of drumstick ice cream cones. The kids are with me and they wanted to get this. I prefer to get it at Costco because the price is very good. And so this is something that we're gonna have in the freezer, in the deep freezer for a little bit. Hopefully it lasts us a while. The last item that I picked up on my shop today is this Ninja coffee maker. It does the grounds and the pods. And what I like about it is that it's single serve so I can commit to my one cup or two cups as I need them throughout the day. I'll definitely be making some coffee. And I have to say that I start my day with coffee every single day. So this is gonna come in so handy, especially with my new coffee. 
So that's it for the haul portion of this video. I'm gonna put all this stuff away and then, I and then I'll be sharing my first ever Sunday reset. I'm meal prepping some breakfast items to make my life so much easier next week. I'll be making some overnight oats and I'll be making some chia seed pudding. So let's go ahead and get right into that. But first, coffee. I'm definitely gonna need a cup or two to get this done. To make the perfect cup, I just add two scoops of coffee grounds and I just select my size cup and I'm good to go. Every time I brew a cup, my kitchen smells like a coffee shop and there's nothing better than that first sip. Leave a comment to let me know if you agree. So first up, I'm making some apple cinnamon overnight oats. All you need is a few scoops of oatmeal, some oat milk, a little pinch of salt, quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, and of course some diced up apples. I'm using organic gala apples. These overnight oats smell like apple pie in a jar. Now I'm gonna give these a nice little shake, put them aside, take a quick little coffee break because I'm working so hard to get this done. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the chia seed pudding. So for this, I'm using three tablespoons of chia seeds. And for the rest, I literally don't measure. I just judge with my heart and I think you should too. So there's three tablespoons of chia seeds in each jar and then I'm gonna add some maple syrup. Usually about like two tablespoons is good enough for me and I'm just gonna pour in some oat milk until the jar gets about halfway filled and then I'll cover that up, give it a shake, toss it in the fridge. I let both the overnight oats and the chia seed pudding sit overnight and then usually they're good to go for the next day. How easy was it to prep some overnight oats and chia seed pudding? I don't know about you, but every time I have my cup of coffee, I feel like I can just tackle all the things. And trust me, as a mom of two plus a puppy, life gets crazy hectic. And any little thing I can do to set myself up for success later is so worth it. And I literally start every day with my cup of coffee. This is so good. It's a Colombian medium roast. I'm going to go ahead and finish up my cup and then I'm going to clean up all the mess that I made from prepping those overnight oats and chia seed pudding. There's chia seeds everywhere. 
Thanks again, Cafe William, for sponsoring this video. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below if you're interested in which locations are carrying Cafe William coffee in the GTA. I'm going to go ahead and share a list down below so you can head to your local Costco and try to find that coffee package with the sailboat. They're the only ones on the shelf and they're so good. You have to try it out. Thanks again for watching this video and I'll catch you all in my next one.